Hello and welcome to my recording session where I present today a very exciting for me project which I will do basically in part time. So who am I? My name is Alexander. I'm a freelancer out of Germany. Here you have my contact information, my email address, my website and the Google app which you can download in and send me an email. So here are my services which I provide developing a software at client side, creating automatic unit tests for the software of my client, providing requirements engineering at client side, helping companies to do real work with software development. And I actually help people to get hired in German companies. So if you're interested, you can contact me and I probably will be able to help you get hired by some of the German companies. So let me introduce my project so how really it is exciting to look for the job for IT or maybe different types of jobs but I am basically concentrate myself in my project for the IT jobs let me introduce some numbers so in German search portals for the jobs you will find for the Java developer 1,884, 5,111, 24,876, 25,280 jobs. And basically, it is structured by the way that you need to spend a lot of time, basically a lot of time, to get through all of the job openings. And solution is pretty simple. Let me quickly switch to the drawing board and there I need to provide you some explanation what I think to, to, to need to be done. It would not take so much time basically I need to switch to the drawing. So this is a job seeking machine which is can be I don't know one of the famous one in Germany. And then I will just draw people like you who or maybe not like you but somebody who really really seeking for the job and they getting requests request request response 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 job seeking job seeking machine and basically many times it looks like this you get pretty big page, some advertisement and like company opening, company opening, then you click and then a page opens and then you need to look for the email or corporate system for application and, and I, I must say because I'm working with many companies and always getting into the contact with them through such systems I always think about that this kind of an efficient way because uh, there are too many uh, too many way too many options so to speak and this is kind of pretty hard let me uh, let me erase all or just open another one let me do that quickly if it is allowed new sometimes I not understand how this still works ah here new site so basically once again you have system and people who accessing this system and basically they are getting a lot of data which is good because always ha always is it is always good to see many job openings so but the problem stays the same uh, too many pages and I don't know you saw the numbers you have like thousand of a thousand of pages with job openings some of them can be obsolete probably but many of them pretty hot pretty hot and if you think how normal user would behave itself it probably will spend two to three minutes looking to the page 
and probably user will look at like I don't know five five pages maybe then it take break then it look maybe another five pages and so I say normal user of job seeking platforms probably go through maybe five to ten pages maybe maybe even more 10 to 20 but I don't think anyone will be enough crazy to go past uh, 100 or 200 page this, this is kind of hard hardcore people which can go through 200 pages and not getting uh, fuzzy with the uh, with the emails gathering and just scraping of data so basically if you are a company and you paying those uh, platforms I would not name the famous job seeking platforms but if you pay if you pay this job seeking platforms to display your page and you see that your page is served like 300 index forget it forget it you don't you don't will you don't reach people because nobody only minority and probably pretty crazy people will go to the free 300 uh, pages to see your job description and this is actually the problem which we have in our modern uh, world and basically I think this is not a good solution because one what once again uh, people will go through the five to ten pages and that's it and if you are a company which use job seeking platforms stop to use them because they don't they don't bring you to the uh, to your client so to speak just stop it uh, because nobody nobody will go 300 pages and beyond to 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 find your job application and if somebody does I don't think this is the same person <laughs> so what is the solution let me just draw you my idea how we can solve this mess first we need to think about in terms of job of the job seeker job seeker uh, in our modern age probably have high education and probably have some sort of a degree and maybe certificates and maybe it's person who say okay I'm I'm pretty qualified why I should bother with uh, time spending when I can learn new stuff and improve my CV so this is a thinking path of modern job seeker so basically pretty high educated person and of course I speak about uh, pretty special cases Java developers and programmers in general programmers so if you, if you think so that I'm speaking in general terms of job seeking no I just speaking about this IT special group which is pretty high in demand so my idea instead of go to the big platforms have a platform which is pretty small and this platform say to the user uh, hey user you wish to use my platform uh, registered and then user provides the data to the platform and then what user get the user gets personalized uh, job manager basically it is it's a system which uh, help user to manage his or her job seeking activities in a kind of individual way basically and job seeker it can you it he or she can use other platforms but it records it stores the data in my platform basically it's not my platform uh, my plan is to develop a platform which can be distributed to any cloud so any person in the world can 
run the platform. So I don't think in terms of have big monolith and uh, maintain the monolith, maintain the data and I don't think about those terms. I just think to have uh, many, many platforms which can be run by other people, not by me. And these platforms communicating with each other and basically this is an idea so once I want to repeat it once again another page I have an individual and this individual can use my platform to store his data about his job activity job activity and even more activity so even more from this platform he can generate an email the email itself due to the GDPR laws will be sent back to the user but then user can set it any time to any other party so basically this is the employee here once again user provides data about the employer my system generates an email the email will be sent to the user of this system and the user then can later resend this email to the employer and now I will present the prototype this is a kind of mock-up stuff let me just go to the part of my yeah so basically let's start from here now this is a mock-up I try to implement the stuff in Spring Boot but then I have no time to do that to do completely now I have some time not a lot of time to do that but uh, I want to impress people to give them motivation to go this direction and I will explain further what I mean so basically let me introduce the platform this is a, a main page of the platform where user can log in or can register for the usage of the system now here you see the registration form for the user where user provides his first name last name and further details personal details once again I must repeat the platform itself I plan that it can be run at any cloud by any person who can run this code so this is basically open source platform which I plan to develop now after the user was registered in the system he will probably see following landing page where he if he if the user already used the system he will see the table of his job applic application so where he, job where is the user at which company applied and then he, he will have or he or she I just I would just say in general terms the user it's a uh, non um, female not male just abstract uh, abstract form of the user so now on the landing page if are you if the user already registered and used the system previously in the past he will probably see this page where he will see the latest uh, applications which he created or already sent in this case he sent a lot of applications and then on this landing page he will be able to delete and then when it, when it clicks on delete on this button then one message um, one screen appear do you want really to delete this application and then user click delete and then application will be deleted here you see a, a user account mm. In this user account I thought about what can be meaningful displayed basically this is a person of personalization of the 
user experience on this platform. So user can set up, for example, amount of uh, pages which he can see or he, he or she can see on the page, uh, probably 100 uh, applications maximum or, or less. This should be just tested, tested out. But conceptually, to, so to speak, uh, the user in the account, when it's logged into the system, probably would have opportunity to manage such options or even delete account which he or she created. Then user would have ability to download, to upload, sorry, to, to upload uh, his private data like uh, his curriculum with the letter and further personalized uh, PDF documents. Now, let me explain what you see on this page. So this is a core uh, concept of this platform. When a user wants to create new application, he clicks on the create new application. Then he or she provides the information about the company where he, he or she want to apply. And then click on to create new email from this application. And then he will probably go to this part of the web application. Here he must provide title of the email, then the text itself of the email. And here we have, I, I think it will, it will make sense to provide kind of a template for the greeting of the company where a job seeker wants to apply. Basically, this would allow to automatically generate an email which will be sent to the job seeker itself. Due to the GDPR reasons, I don't think it would make sense just directly send email to the company. But in the nature of open source, if somebody change the code and use the code not from the main repository, but rather from own repository, it can happen, but I'm not responsible for that. Okay, so on this step, it's pretty simple. When user clicks on create email with application, an email will be generated and sent to the user email box. If user like to save email in system, it will be saved and then Later, user can send an email through the system. This is a this is a major goal actually. Okay, now this is kind of simply part of the web application. Here, user will be presented with lists of applications which were sent or not, and he in this part of the website he can actually delete all his applications and start new ones. If you're not sure, maybe something got corrupted and he wants just to delete it. And here user have, a, I think it would make sense to scroll through the, all of the application which he, he or she has in this system. Okay, in advanced search, user probably would look for the data. So here I think it makes sense to provide different kind of uh, search fields. Like if user want to search for the contact person and see, okay, I have a company with this person when I send to the person the application and then he, he or she will see uh, the research, research results, sorry. Job title, the same job title provided and then he will see the search result with the provided job title so basically it means job title of the contact person and the same goes to the company name email and uh, that date of application type of industry so uh, this is kind of functionality which you always see on the pages when you look through the data and you want to see some particular type of data 
I think it's kind of basic, but to, to implement this probably take some <laughs> some time. Okay, now project goals. I want to pinpoint this. The main project goals to help uh, job seekers in such strange times which we have currently. And this will help uh, this platform which I plan to develop with other developers, hopefully. It will help to increase job seeker efficiency because now with such a platform, job seeker probably would not use a lot of Excel table. He probably will use my platform to get the results, so to speak. Uh, next goal, create many small distributed job seeking platforms with idea of job seeker as a main user of such system and this is goals basically which I have drawn previously large system produce many results but it's kind of hard to to go through all of the search results and at some point I think many companies find this quite valuable because if such small system provide an API, then a company can basically send a request to this API. And if the request is a valid one and the user of the system said, OK, I'm interested, then the job description will appear on the on this on the platform which the user use. So basically, it's kind of feature feature which I plan to to implement if the platform became pop popular basically and this platform basically would help job seeker to stay on top of his applications i know it's kind of hard because if somebody sends 100 job applications i i'm pretty sure it lose or he he or she loses scope of the applications which were sent to the companies and this is with such platform which i have in my mind user will be able to quite easier uh, and without headache on even on mobile devices to find okay this is the date when i send my application and i know which company got my application this is basically the whole idea behind of it and of course, plan uh, to have a one platform, but distributed in many networks, which will allow people to get most efficiency in job seeking activity. So basically, this platform would help pro would help people a lot to organize their job seeking work or activity. Okay, project state. Um, because I'm planning to develop it in Angular framework, which is a Google framework, it, it's kind of hard to predict how progress of the project would uh, go. Because my past experience with Angular was kind of heavy, I must say. But uh, I done market research analysis and I figure it out that many uh, German companies still prefer to use Angular and I thought that if I spent part time on some pet projects why not learn or relearn uh, or refresh knowledge about particular framework which is used by other companies. Um, project itself it is open source but it is licensed under the LGPL which allow to use it uh, in commercial closed source type projects and basically if I would be able to have a uh, first alpha like I don't know in 2021 half year like in six in six months probably and I'm, I'm not sure that <laughs> I would have alpha but who knows? Let's let's just try it out in part time. And SUSE as a company provides nice um, sandbox, and I will basically uh, use this sandbox for this platform to showcase all the features. 
Next, uh, I of course seek help from from other developers, but uh, one major uh, condition is they should be able to write unit tests for the Angular. I need unit tests for my application. This is the point. I don't wish to have a code without unit test. So, if you are a developer and working with Angular, you should be able to write unit tests. In Jet, Mocha, Chai, Jasmine, I don't care. You should be able to write tests for the uh, Angular application. And if you are a company which actually viewing this presentation and if you want to get involved in the open source project you can reach me and we can speak about uh, what kind of financial support you can provide and what you actually will get from this uh, financial support and furthermore what can what let let imagine all goes well and nothing breaks and all perfectly well defined what can be the future uh, basically such platform can generate analytics uh, it can use bots why not because you can integrate a bot into this platform and then you have I don't know many companies which, which can send a message to the to the people and if platform accepts the messages then people can speak with the company representatives why not um, then provide more granular search like I don't know provide search for basic on special terms which I don't know yet but maybe that will be make that will make sense to implement and in the end maybe even big job searching platforms which would recognize some big change which are actually happening and they would have an API and say if you are, if you ask my API with such terms, I will deliver you the data, and then you can represent this data on your uh, on your platform. And I'm not sure. I will say if big job searching platforms consider my future platform and co will cooper cooperate with my future platform, that will be great but i do not expect that i hope only to help people to organize their job searching activities make them efficient and allow them to easy navigate through their job seeking activity and this is basically yeah the end and if you have still have questions about what i'm actually bubbled through you can reach me out through my email, through my website, through the Google Android app, which I have created. And let's get hands dirty and let's do this work and help people. Thank you and bye bye.